Aries, getting ready to do your reading. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right, here we go, Aries. Six of Wands, a victory. Six of Swords, moving away from something. Okay, Three of Wands, King of Swords. Hey, one thing is, one of you may want to work on a relationship. I'm sorry. And one of you may not, first glance. You could be dealing with an air sign. Oh, yes, that's like what I was feeling. I, this wasn't like both of your energy. It was like somebody else. One of you wants to work on it. One of you does not. So Knight of Swords is probably being an asshole. Could be this King of Swords, but could it be a queen. And it doesn't have to be an air sign. It's their energy. They got their sword out. This person is um, mad. They got something to say. This could be you. If you're angry at someone... For screwing you over the six of wands there because i feel kind of an arrogant energy off that let's go back around though and see okay you got the three of coin there might be a third person doesn't necessarily mean a cheating yet magician five of wands the surprise it's in reverse Hierophant is in reverse yeah someone doesn't want to be in a relationship okay First thing that came to mind is there may be a third party type of thing going on. Someone may have a child with someone and they are not paying. Someone may have a child with someone and that other person doesn't want to even be in a relationship and won't even acknowledge you or the child. Someone is more concerned about how they appear, how they look, what people, if their people are looking at them, you know, if they, you know, are good looking, that type of thing. Someone is also leaving and for this other person without, you may not even know, this may be very unexpected. This person may meet some uh, someone out and then just like up and go. All right, that's the, like the feelings I'm getting. Now let me look at the cards also. Sometimes I get the messages and feelings and they may not even match the cards and I have to stop and actually look what, and see what I'm seeing. And let's go back around and see. All right, what's going on here? The Empress. See, there is a, another person involved for some of you, and then maybe that's the person who has the baby. Someone's pregnant, or or they already had the child, um, like a third party type of thing. Two of Wands. Someone is, I think someone has made the decision about what they want to do. Someone doesn't want to stay and fight. You know, upright, this is like arguing with someone, trying to get your point across. In reverse, they don't even want to do that. They just want to ride away. So someone, maybe a younger fire sign, but someone just wants to ride away. There is like there is like a complete and utter feeling of just up and going in this reading. Tower, yeah. Someone did not does not want to be in this relationship. I mean, this could be you, Aries, but I'm thinking it's somebody else around you, and they just up and go, and it's kind of shocking. Okay, you have the Ten of Cups. Some of you were married to this person or with this person. Some of you were happy, or at least you thought they were happy also, and then it just kind of like quickly changed. This person also may, if there is a person, a third party who is pregnant, they may be going to that person, and that's their Ten of Cups. They may be going quickly with the Knight of Swords energy, because Page of Coin is usually my child card, and Ten of Cups can be the family card. Doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be happy. Ten of Cups um, in personal readings doesn't always mean that I've seen. It means there's like the house and the kid and the car payment and the whole thing together so if you're fighting to save a relationship if you have been fighting for someone to stay they're not going to unfortunately if you know that they have a third party and that third party is pregnant and they have kids with them they looks like they're going to them if there's if you have a child with this person again or you find out you're pregnant they do look like they're going to up and just go unfortunately you may have thought they're really happy about this, having a baby, or you're very happy, but this other person has already made the decision. Like, two of wands is about thinking, you know. Two of wands in reverse to me is, I've decided. I'm, I was thinking, but I'm done. What is the two of wands? The sun going somewhere else. Also, someone, you know, justice. Someone wants the baby, wants to have a baby. Someone wants to also probably get married, but not necessarily married. But the son can represent a child. And I'll, get, I'll get off the child thing because a lot of you don't have kids and this won't resonate. So let me look and see what I'm seeing again. Because someone has definitely decided, clearly. Um, it's like they've met someone 
and they abruptly leave to go be happy somewhere else with the Sun card. Now, hopefully, Aries, this is you and this is not happening to you or happened to you in the past. I'm trying to see if this person plans to come back around. Is that what this reading is showing? What is the Knight of Wands? Justice. Yeah, again, now this is a different justice. Yeah, this is a world justice. Someone feels like they have the right to just leave and go. That is that it's that what they want, and that's how they feel things should be working out. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to stay and argue about it. They're just going to go. It's their right to go, and they're leaving. Might be someone went to jail. I mean, probably not for most. Tower Tower can represent that type of thing, injustice, all at once. And so if someone up and leaves abruptly, which Knight of Wands can be, that might be for someone. But someone, again, may feel it's their right to just, you know, date a lot of people. They don't want to be in a relationship. Higher font in reverse can be someone who doesn't like commitment. They don't want to be tied down. Maybe that you thought they did, but they don't. Uh, this person can also, with the sun and six of swords, they could be traveling, going across seas, going someplace where it's sunny. If it is you who met someone out recently, six of wands, three of wands, this person may have tra treated you very well, treated you like an empress, a princess. Um, careful again, if they have promising things like kids and family and all that, Careful, and, they, and they're moving very quickly, not a source, moving very quickly, telling you all those things you want to hear. Careful of that energy because I do see that they will up and abruptly leave. So do not, you know, get, do not get ahead of yourself with what this person is saying to you. Don't believe their lies. I'm going to do one more card for the Ten of Cups. One more card, please, for the Ten of Cups over there. Three of Swords. It is in reverse, but again... It does, yeah, there is some sadness, there is some, you know, this may be expected, maybe you've already gone through this, so this is not new. The Three of Swords in Reverse, there definitely, for some of you, there is a third party. When it's in reverse, that means it's being revealed, and it was, um, for some of you, this is this may be a surprise. Others of you, you may not be surprised. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Have a good week, you guys, and take care.